there. Gravity is a but the Allite is my friend. I use this thing on almost a daily basis. Prior to a particularly eventful ride, I had never even heard the term photobiomodulation. It's really quite the word. An easier name is red light therapy, which is a well-established and researched form of treatment around the globe for animals as well as humans. I'm not going to pretend to understand or even be able to explain how it works with the mitochondria to increase ATP production. It's not my gig. Instead, here's a link or several links to research from the National Library of Medicine. For me, this works. Since I've been using the Allite for a while now, I've become a convert, both to the device and what it does. Let's visit Idaho, the home of the Allite, and talk with the founder, Sharon, as well as Diane Jenkins, an international equine therapist and lecturer. Watch the light. All right, so Diane, can you explain then the difference between photobiomodulation sure. and the acupoints? The photonic yes. therapy. The photonic therapy. therapy. The difference between photobiomodulation and photonic therapy are that they are two different applications of red light. One was developed by NASA and the other was developed by a vet and that's why we're really into it with horses. The photobiomodulation was direct healing by NASA and the late Ron Ignatius and the um, Photonic therapy was developed by Dr. Brian McLaren, who was an Australian, who did a lot of his work and research in the United vet. States, and he was a vet. So, the photobiomodulation is simple. Anybody can do it. You have to find the pain on the horse and put it on the pain. Now, that's easy when we have a wound, or we have a swelling, or we have uh, some sort of obvious difference you know a hawk or a, a hoof or an, anything that a sore eye a, anything that you can think of that you can see right you that's photobiomodulation when it comes to photonic therapy that's more indirect it is actually following the traditional chinese medicine meridian system so that we can place a red light where the acupoints are and use a series of those that are well known for thousands of years that apply both to humans and to animals to get a, a, a gradual effect of changing the body to heal. Adding the lights into my relationships with the horses has allowed me to communicate with them in a completely different way. Them communicating back to me in a way that I understand. They relate to this light. They can, they'll point, they'll be like, here, you start working on them and you move back and they start shifting back because you haven't finished what they need you to finish. And so um, the lights allow you a whole nother way to interact with your horse and help them. What would you say? Oh, absolutely. I think that the main thing is that what we're doing with these lights is making the horses feel so much more comfortable even when they don't actually, when they don't look ill or they don't look lame, but they, they have aches and pains just like us. Mm -hmm. And those aches and pains are what we can do something about immediately with red light. If we know where the ache and pain is, we can work directly on the spot, just as you were indicating before. And if we don't know where they're aching or paining, we can use the acupuncture point. And that does it distally, that does it indirectly. And the, we know the horses are benefiting because they love it and they let us know that they love it and they move differently. So Sharon, can you tell us a little bit about the different colors? It's not just the red light that you offer. You offer other colors that do other things. Correct. So I grew up only using red light and it's been my go-to for 20 years. And so I've gotten everything accomplished that I need to accomplish with the red light. But we've learned over time that there are lights that do the same thing, but more effectively. So for instance, they call the blue light the great antiseptic. It is antibacterial and antifungal. It also removes heat. So if you ever are in a situation where you're like, that hurt and I need to go get me some ice, you could use the blue light. 
but sometimes you get stung by a bee or sometimes you get hit by a branch and you would naturally put ice on an injury like that, you can use the blue. Also, if you cut yourself, you can use the red to help heal that, but you're gonna use the blue in an area where you would normally put an antiseptic, uh, neosporin or something like that. And so that's what they use the blue for. It also is used on any hacky point that's hot because this is your ice and a light. So it brings heat away. So it's actually a polar opposite of the red. So you use red to get it circulation going, but when you have a fresh sprain and you got tons of blood going through it, and you would pack it with ice, you would not put a heating pad around something like that. So these are used in opposite directions. So then it's like, well, what if I don't know for sure? So green is the light that you can use at any time when you're not actually sure if I should use red or blue. It, it'll ground you. It's all about bringing you into balance. It's the most predominant color we have in nature. Is he totally in the camera? That's fine. He's People care one. more about him than us anyway. Let, let, let's face it. Where can people learn more about photonic healing and the Alites? So to learn more about the Alites, we have tried to do a pretty comprehensive website that has frequently asked questions on it. We have a lot of videos. We offer free training uh, to take you through all of the equine basics to get you using your light. If you want advanced training, we're available to do that as well. We have charts, we have books. We are open to any suggestions that you have that you're looking for, because we have our expert that we can rely on to bring us great knowledge. So whatever you're looking for, we are here to help. And you can just go to www.alight.com, which is A-A-H, light.com. Well, there you go. For me, the Alight and red light therapy in general was a really new and novel idea, and I was pretty skeptical about it until I started using it. Now I'm a believer. And even if it were made of diesel fuel and bubble gum, it's not, by the way, I'd use it on a regular basis. So, light on. Love trail riding and camping? Like and subscribe to our channel to see more of Coffee with Trailmeister, and visit trailmeister.com for the largest and only accurate guide to horse trails and camps across America, riding tips, and even more. Want more? We'd love to tell you what's on the next episode, but we don't even know yet. Send us your ideas via comments and Facebook, and while you're on the computer, sign up for our free newsletter.